This video will help you with the initial five minute experience after installing Action Grid. Other videos will show you the numerous configuration options available with Action Grid. But initially you can use Action Grid right out of the box with practically no configuration. In this le lesson you'll learn these items below such as Action Grid Explorer, basic configuration, and so forth. Since you've just installed Action Grid, you're probably in one of your default Salesforce applications, such as Sales. Everything you need, though, for Action Grid is in the Action Grid application, which we rec recommend working from initially. You can also expose the Action Grid tabs within your application, like so. But if you do that, please just use Action Grid Explorer for right now. Action Grid Explorer allows you to quickly access any object in your system without the need for a tab. You'll also see initially that uh, some of the documentation, in fact, this video is displayed there as well. So as you choose an object, you'll see some default values for that object. If we look at opportunities, for instance, you'll see the reading pane is toggled on in this case. And if we go to contacts, then we'll see that as you spin through most of the standard objects, there are predefined columns that we've just guessed. If you look at a custom object, you'll see only one column is defined because we, we can't make a guess on the custom objects. But you certainly can just go here to the configure button and use that to add and subtract fields. So you simply add fields onto the grid by checking boxes. You can also search. We'll have a whole video on the usage of the field chooser in a second video. Um, you can actually remove fields by just dragging them off here and so forth. The grids are always default to edit mode indicated by the blue toggle uh, so that fields may not look editable but our grid is fully editable. You can turn certain fields off if you like. So if I wanted to change that to Arizona for instance I could and then I save with the blue toggle button. That saves data not the view. Now on to saving the view. So our views work the same way as Salesforce list views. You just have to build your criteria, add your columns, and so forth. And then eventually you'll save your view. We also do have a new view, and it functions the same as a save. So e either one is the same thing. So save and save as, all of that is together under one view. So if I make this one named contacts all, now you always want to save your views at least for the first time. You always want to have at least one public or public read-only view and one default. That means that the end users won't have to do this work. The default view also becomes important to Action Grid because it becomes the template as you use it in related lists and in other aspects of Action Grid. You'll note that when you save the grid, you're also saving whether the toolbar is exposed, whether it's in inline edit mode, whether the reading pane is turned on or off. So you just toggle those uh, when you do that. Okay, so and then you toggle your configure button off. And if you wanted to do a save as, you know, for instance, you filter this thing on just Colorado. And that functions as a save as as well. So if I just say Colorado, then we're good. That actually concludes this lesson. Happy action gridding.